we are going to be playing as the king of swing and we'll try to win the ashes for england by just swinging the ball all over the place look at that wicket a green wicket day one come on win the toss and bowl first please we won the toss and chose to bat what why would you want to bat on this wicket ah man come on before i get a chance to bowl i have to come in at number 11 and bat Let's see how many bonds we can stick around here. We do have a batsman on the other end. So let's just try to defend and block. Get another 10-15 runs. Look at that wicket. Why would you win the toss and bat first? Now just the one ball here. Well done. I will block this. Shot went for the pull man. Almost on instinct. And I think that might run away for four. Did that come off the bat or was it leg buys? Oh no, it was off the bat or off the glove or something. Now I had to face an entire over what? I did not mean to play a late cut. I wanted to flick that ball and take a single. Thank God I didn't give catching practice to Gully there. On the pass and that's what I wanted to come on run. And we'll get through, give him the strike, four balls to go. And once again I had to bat from the very first ball of the over. Not great batting with the tail ender Mohin Ali. Shot. Every time I see a short ball, I have to pull and just forget about everything and try to pull the ball. Almost got out already once. Yeah, on the pads, leg buys, can we get through? Yep, easy run there. They have three fielders in the deep for a number 11 batsman who's, who's just trying to block every single ball. Full. Ooh, 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 quick. Pitching outside leg or that would have been plum. Now we have to produce some magic with the ball. This is the field I'm going to go with. Two slips, a short leg and a gully. And I have short cover as well. Mm. Too wide there. I have to get closer to the stump. Ooh, much better ball and Warner absolutely solid. I do have a short leg, so I'm, I am going to bowl the odd bouncer, but not in the first over. Let's just try to keep it full, make him drive just like that. But we want the edge. I only have two slips because the wicket keeper himself can probably catch first slips catch and second slips catch. Wow, went for the drive wide from the body, but still he doesn't get the edge. On the pads and a leading edge, but it falls right between short leg and mid on. A close chance there. Ah, wide away from the body and Warner just opens the face and gets a boundary through point. Wow, that is a short boundary as well. Once again against Warner. I'm just gonna try. Let's come from around the wicket because this is Warner. And let's try to get him LBW to full. Because of the dumb decision of batting first, we only managed to score 284. Now that's the ball. That's the ball that will get him LBW. Oh, nice ball. That was a beautiful outswinger. Full, but not too full. He goes for the drive. I tempted him enough, but uh, as of now, we haven't found the edge. Now, let's just end this over with the bouncer. See what happens. Short edge and it goes through first slip. If I had had a first slip fielder, that would have probably been out. He only let me bowl two overs. Now I'm back. What was that? I almost got Warner out with my last ball there. But now Warner is out. Labishen and Kavaja. Come on, let's see if we can do something different against a right-hander. And just looking for that edge with that full ball. But nothing seems to work. Good ball. Good ball there. But he is solid. At least he's not looking to score. So that is a good thing. Again, this time he's slightly late, but still, he's not yet off the mark. He's played 12 balls. Short, but doesn't work. Let's see if he can get that short leg into play. A nice quick bouncer and he just gloves it to short leg. That's my plan. Or get the edge and get a catch. Ah, again, good ball. And Labishain finally goes for the drive, gets through and he'll get a couple of runs there. That went actually right through my head, I think. Should have stopped that. It wasn't hit very hard. Uh, I think I have a better chance of getting the left-hander out. I am swinging the ball nicely. 
that outswinger will get me a wicket. Sure, that was a good bouncer. He met the head, but he ducked very fast. Mm, not too sure. That ball just sat up nicely. Thankfully, it didn't just pull me out of the ground. And there we go. Finally, I beat him. I get greedy, go for the full in swinger, does not work. But I'll concede only once, so who cares. When you come from around the wicket, you can also get the left-hander LBW, so that's why I'm doing this. Not finding the edge, oh my god, that was so close to the off stump. An off cutter, that was so close. Why is the ball so messed up already? This has only been 18 overs, and it looks like the ball, one side of the ball at least looks like it's been bowled for a like 100 overs. Flaked. And through mid wicket, two straight, and that will be at least two runs, maybe even three. Nope, quick, just please stop the ball. <laughs> Using manual fielding, so I might uh, give away a few overthrows. Short caught. Wait, I think that was off the glove, but the short leg fielder was just too slow. That should have made my first wicket. It didn't even go up and fall on the stumps. That was close as well. Then the catch, look at that, right off the glove, goes up, misses the stump by two feet. He could have died and caught that so easily, but uh, of course not. Now goes for the inside out drive. They're not scoring against me. That's one good thing at least. And that is the perfect ball. That is the perfect ball from around the wicket to the left hander. It can come in and get him LBW or get the outside edge with an outswinger. Now I am back in the 33rd over and a ball only 6 overs. Edged, gone! That was an outswinger. I finally find the edge of Kawaja's bat right there. And what are they talking about? That's the thickest of edge. Look at that outswinger. Back of a length. It wasn't even that full. And Superman there catches a brilliant one. And I finally get my first. I have to look at that again. Because that was a beauty. It wasn't very full. Just good length. But just swinging. Too much swing. Goes for the inside out drive. And look at that for a catch. Now the ball that goes the other way. Travis head comes in. Three wickets gone. I barely bowled any overs. Only 6.2. And that's close as well on the pads, but maybe height, maybe impact outside the off stump. But you know what? Let's review it. Why not? Let's see. It did look a little high and impact as well. Those two things are problematic, but let's see. I don't think height is the problem, but the impact is outside off. And it hits the stumps as well, but umpire's call and we wasted a review. Now, what an over. This has been three balls done, but three beautiful deliveries already. And Travis had a free-flowing drive there after almost getting out. Let's just keep it at that line and this time he goes to the bank foot and drives it through the covers, through the unnaturally small boundary square. Why is it so short? Short, pull, he's up for everything. Front foot, back foot, offside and the leg side. Now let's see if we can get Smith the big fish. This is an old ball but some reverse, oh god. Too wide, should reverse swing, especially considering how it looks. And he's just solid, he's playing every ball of the back foot. Can I get an LBW, can I, can I make the ball swing a little bit more and get the pads? This time too full and he punches me down, but I've been so economical. 7.3, only 19 runs. I've given away 3 boundaries, but still, I am gonna keep going for that. End swinger, this time he digs it out of the ground and finds the gap through extra cover for four. That was a yonker almost. Now a little too straight, now I'm not bowling well. <clears throat> that ball moved a lot. Had some real swing there. But Smith is very solid. Both of these guys here is scoring off every ball. Smith is being absolutely solid in his defense. Off the hip. Is that out? Did he get any pad on it? No, he hasn't. And I've already wasted one review. Not going to do that again. 
shot that was a good bounce a good direction as well but he was quick in ducking under it and that will be an end of a session i'm told what only eight overs in that entire session they still trail by 144 can we get them all out before that they still have seven wickets in hand mm, too straight flick the trademark whip by smith and he'll get off strike let's see what we can do against the aggressive left-hander I want a leg slip as well. Let's try the uh, short ball tactic for a while. Now we have two fielders in the same line. A leg gully and a leg slip. Short gets the top edge and goes above everyone. The keeper, the slip, the leg slip, the leg gully, the short leg. All of them are there for the bouncer. Caught the edge as well but uh, unlucky. Short again. This time he pulls it over. He's not going to duck and defend. No, none of that. He is looking to score of every ball. He goes over two fielders there and goes right over their head. Now, you know what? Let's try the full delivery. I'm not going to pull the same ball over and over again. Full. Wow, that was a beautiful delivery. I think that's gone. That ball drifted in and then straightened. A little bit of outswing and wraps him on the pass for a pretty straight LBW there. Are they going to review it? No, they are not. Look at that. The ball straightens and gets the pair. That is hitting middle stump. Travis head is going to go. We try a few bounces, but then the full delivery is the wicket taker. We've taken two already. Wow. This is going pretty good. I still have a leg slip even for Smith. Let's see if that works. I am going to try to... Ball a few bounces here and there. 4 for 151. This second spell has been magical so far. Can we take Smith? That would be just an innings defining performance. 3 wickets in one spell and Smith. That would be awesome. Look at that nicely played mid wicket. They're not scoring boundaries. They're just tapping and running twos and singles. Yeah, I expected that. It had to happen some or the other time. Manual fielding then. And I forgot to catch the ball. Overthrows and they'll get six runs for it. Now three fielders for Cameron Green. I am going to come around the wicket and bounce him for a while. Let's see if that works. But I don't know. Maybe I should uh, just keep balling a few full deliveries. Because that's the one uh, that has gotten us wickets both times. Let's see if this bouncer... Will get us a wicket. We so far you got like two edges of bounces, but no wickets. Solid look at that. It looks just absolutely and one hundred percent solid from the front. That defense. Oh, that's too much. That's probably wide. Mm, that ball wobbled actually before it went to the keeper. It moved like unnaturally for a while. Let's see another two deliveries. This has not been the greatest of overs. I have not made him play at all. Full on the pads to Smith and easy as you like. Flicks it away and he'll get two for it. Oh, what a ball between pad and pad and inches about the stump. How did that miss everything? I didn't swing all that much. A pretty straightforward ball, but look at how close it was to the top of the stump. Ooh, close, close. We are starting to bowl well once again after that horrible over. Ah, too full, but he does not want to drive. And this time straight, and he should get at least two there. I don't know why they're not looking to score boundaries. It's just tap and try to get two. Come on, stop it. Ah, oh god, no. <laughs> ah. Uh, because of my manual feeling, I just left that ball and thankfully it was a direct hit. Cameron Green, what a funny and unfortunate dismissal there. That was funny. <laughs> I was running around like a dum-dum trying to catch that ball. Of course, I was nowhere near it. And it ended up being a direct hit run out. Mm, let's go another left-hander, see if we can get him out the same way, but now I'm coming from over the wicket. And that's been played right from where it came. 
with the angle he just once again not looking to score a boundary just hitting it and trying to get on and this time will they get run out nope they'll get three i think stop it yup well done and they trail by only 104 <laughs> look at that clever that was wide so he just opened the face the offside is packed a lot of fielders there but uh, no one behind point oh my bounces have been aimed perfectly but they're talking way too soon a slight change of the field two fielders standing in the same line did look stupid but now we are still attacking but attacking in a slightly different way and i'm going to bowl full a lot more because of the extra slip mm, let's go this looks really good mm, but can ball there i cannot ball that short that straight Mm, too short, too wide, and once again a boundary through the offside. Every time I bowl wide, I have given away a boundary. <laughs> oh God, that! What are they doing? Fifty-six overs gone, five for two hundred and five. Alex carry on strike, and now he just flicked me through mid wicket. Now the full deliveries have stopped working a little bit. The short ones never worked, so I don't know what to do. Come on, got the ball, but no chance of a run out there. I think I am bowling better to do better to the right hander. Look at that! He's played that shot like three or four times now. Alex Carey is playing it as well. They only trail by another seventy-four runs, and he gets to his fifty as well. It doesn't matter if it's real life or a game. Steve Smith has just got to score. Too wide to threaten the batsman at all. Ooh, that was a good ball and a good leave as well. It shaped in and then some outswing. I have kept that leg slip for such a long time. I hope I managed to get him out of the bouncer somewhere where he just gloves it to leg slip. That would be awesome. They tell by seventy-two. We need uh, wickets and wickets very fast. Short top edge and it goes to leg slip out. The thing that I said I wanted to happen has exactly happened. Almost exactly, he clubs it straight up in the air and a simple catch to leg slip, and I get the big one, Steve Smith, and that is wicket number three. Now Pat Cummins, they only have another four wickets. Look at that for a bouncer, quick, aimed at the head. He moves his head out of line, gets the glove, goes straight up, and a simple catch, which is, uh, which ends up looking very hard. Now they don't have any more batsmen left. Only Alex Carey left. Three wickets gone, three wickets taken, and a ball only a handful of overs, eleven or twelve, I think. Wait, what? A ball nineteen overs? Well, 19 overs and taken three wickets. Ooh, <laughs> wow! Suddenly, every ball is an event. I get to ball to Pat Cummins again. Let's see if he can produce some magic here as well. That leg slip finally comes to use now. That short leg has to come to use as well. I am gonna bowl the odd bouncer, but let's try to get the. Uh, Get him out the normal way. Ball full, get an edge, and get caught at slips. We'll try for that, and we'll go with the bouncer strategy. So one or the other has to work. Wow, that was quick. Well, only one thirty-nine. That looked quick at least. In the slot for a nice cover drive, but he is not interested. Punch back. Ooh, that could be a run out. What? That should have been an easy run out, but I don't know. Back to bowling across to the left hander. I'm trying to get him out when he's playing that exact shot. When he's trying to cover drive, I'm going away now even more. Coming from wide of the crease, trying to take the ball away and get the edge. But Alex Carey has batted pretty well. Thirty-eight of sixty-five. Oh, they trail by another forty-five. We need to get them out before that. I mean, even a fifty-run lead 
would put us back so much in this game. Now he's playing everything on the back foot. And as soon as I give him any room, he drives me through the offside for four. You give them room and he gets smacked. So I just keep bowling straight. I, I don't think I've given away even a single boundary on the leg side. Uh, no wait, yeah. Travis had hit me over two fielders, a leg slip and a leg gully. But other than that, all top edge again and caught another one. Almost the exact same way, quick bouncer and leg slip comes in and catches it. What are you talking about? That went straight off the glove. Anderson has taken two wickets with bouncers. And Mitchell Stark, now they are into the tail. Now 41 runs looks like a huge target, doesn't it? We can get a good solid lead here. Look at that bounce, even off the bat, then onto the glove. So no question there, I mean even a 20-25 run lead here, if we can get them all out in the next uh, 4 or 5 overs, that would be, that would be a huge advantage. And full, that was good, especially to a number 9 batsman, just got a ball full and straight, let's try to take a, uh, I'm not I'm sure that was not out, but you know what, Let's just take a review, why not? Pitching outside leg stump guard, no. Another review wasted, but I've taken four wickets, so I think uh, it's okay. Ooh, another beautiful outswinger. Some really good bowling gets the edge and another one. And now Star goes and we finally get a edge. The, the thing that we've been looking for since the very first ball. Stark has got to go, a full delivery gets the edge and the keeper dives and takes second slip catch. He goes for a duck as well, 8 for 243. They are collapsing very quickly, 41 runs and they only have 2 wickets in hand. 71 overs gone, 243 for 8, Nathan Lyon on strike, let's see if he can get another one, we've already got 5. Why am I feeling now every ball is just so close. And there we go, too quick for him. He gets hit on the body. Uh, wicked just <laughs> seems so close. Mm, nope, Nathan Line is defending like he's Steve Smith here. Oof, 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 oof. I think he got hit on his chest and he's already got smacked once in this over, but still not giving away his wicket. Now he wants to score, huh? And now we only have to take a wicket. They are almost all out. They're still trailing by what? 39 runs. Wow, we have changed this game in a span of 10-15 runs. We've taken what? 5 wickets I think in the last 15 runs. Oh, another beauty. What a exhibition of swing balling this has been. That was so close as well. Almost got the edge. Again, okay, just a little bit of swing. The ball just straightens and almost gets the edge and almost gets the top of off stump as well. It was close there. That would have been an epic end to an epic bowling performance. Both these guys are blocking everything. I don't know who they're expecting to score. Nathan Lyon almost got it through there. Got the toe though. Almost the edge. Got the shoulder of the bat. Almost 39 runs still. They are hanging on. Poland has scored four runs as well. We have to finish this. Who knows? They might just end up scoring another 35 runs. Completely demoralizing us. On the pants there, a bad ball, but only one. I get my chance to bowl at Poland. Let's see if I can get him out. Oh, another beauty. How many great balls have bowled in these... Three or four overs. That was so close to the off stump. Another outswinger that goes past the outside edge. This was slightly fuller as well, so a lot harder to play. Look at that. Just a little bit of swing and almost gets the edge and the stumps. <laughs> and he gets hit again. Oh, this time it's boring. 
And he drives it through the point. Near the line, I think he's got a boundary there. Yes, he has. Like so many before him, he drives me through extra cover slash point for a boundary. 77.2 overs gone. We are just one wicket away from wrapping this innings. But these two are being very solid and scoring a few runs here and there as well. Ooh, another beautiful delivery. This time even fuller, but once again goes past the outside edge. Look at that for an outswing. Wow, so close yet so far. But somehow Nathan Lyon has batted for 26 balls. He's been beaten 5 or 6 times and then he's got hit on the body 3 or 4 times. But still batting and scored 6 runs as well. Again... And that's it, they are all out and now I have to come in and bat. Let's see how long I have to bat. Uh, 400, 461, how did we manage to do that? Which means we are winning this test match. We are way ahead, the target is 491 already. And we still have another wicket to go. Come on, let's just get to 500. A total above 500, a target above 500, that is not happening Australia. Mm, solid in defense. He's already not out in the first innings. Then with the ball took 5 wickets. And now let's see if he can uh, once again bat for a while. There are 4 fielders in the deep for number 11. That is the fear we want. Now they have even... No, they still have 4. But they're not attacking. Oh, just the one slip and that's it. Oh my god, I wanted to play attacking shot, almost ended up giving catching practice, but we are off to the other end, and I've given him one ball to play, the batsman, and now I have to face an entire over, once again this is the same thing, now where do I get a single from, leave that, of course I need him to bowl on my pad so I can flick and run a single, I'm not driving or anything, especially no cover drives, not at all, go straight, but again, solid. Oh, that was full. Nice, full straight. No swing whatsoever. And I've driven it away for a two, maybe three even. Oh, that went away for four. We have scored a boundary of the loveliest on drive. Look at that for a shot. Perfect selection so far. I haven't been beaten. I've left everything properly. Driven some balls. And of course, defended well. Lead is 496. Four runs away from that magical 500. Oh, good ball. And Nathan Lyon comes in. He has not taken a single wicket. He's bowled 25 overs and not gotten a single wicket. That is surprising. Now we lead by 501. Basto is scoring on the other end. So I'm just going to block. Well done. Over is done. Now you get an entire over of Stark. <laughs> no, he just gives me strike after three balls. Uh, Stark is gonna be a danger for sure. Full length and short deliveries like that. Yorkers and bounces. And shot again. He wants to bounce me out. And while batting, I don't know, Anderson looks uh, too tall. He looks almost taller than Broad. He's towering over the stumps. Gives me a full delivery. I could have driven him straight. But uh, let's just give Bastos some time to ban. He's not scoring. Even if he's scoring, scoring very slowly. Now one other entire over of Stark. He gives me six balls to play. Look at that. Clever. Now you have to bet five. And nope, the trend does not change. Now I have to face an entire over of comments. But now the lead is 511. This is... Worse than impossible for Australia to chase down. Solid. That defense is almost perfect. 20 balls, 6 runs. Our lead is above 5, 10. Now he's just uh, playing for fun. I leave a straight point. It does not matter even if you get out. There's no way Australia are getting anywhere close to 511. I mean, it is a big miracle how we got to 482. We got all out for what 280 in the first innings, then Australia all out for 260 or something. Now 490 in the third innings. Cummins now comes from over the wicket. He's gonna ball full. 
He does and will get through for a single and give the batsman time to bat. He's giving me entire overs. This is not great batting with the tail. Now the lead is 526. Why are we even batting? Just declare already. But I'm not getting out. I am going not out in both innings. Oh, another beauty there. Poor footwork. Should have tried playing it a lot straighter than that. 26 balls gone. And they are struggling. Now Star goes for a quick Yorker. Even that doesn't work. He's just bowling full. He wants to get my stumps absolutely and completely destroyed. He's going for that fast full delivery. It's not working. So, but still five dot balls doing the job and we leave that alone. Come on, Vestus. Score a little faster and don't give me strike on. Okay. So that's it. We get all out. And once again, I go not out. Best to 162. Now what's the uh, target? 527 is the target. There is no way our Australia were getting close. First ball edged and through point for four. I make him drive. I get the edge, but no one at Kali or point, and that will be four. Ah, oh, they are coming out aggressively, huh? And again, except for one ball, he's tried to score off every single thing. Which means we probably can get a wicket very quickly if he keeps playing like that. And another free-flowing drive, but only four runs in that two off an edge. Let's see what Broad can do. Oh god, <laughs> Australia have already lost a wicket. Two overs gone and it's already looking like it's over. Hmm. Bowling short balls in the third over is probably not a good idea, but uh, let's just ball one or two here and there. And drives it through extra cover. Another lovely shot. Just like the first innings, he will start. He will score another boundary through the offside. It's come from around the wicket. Try to get a MLPW again. Maybe the odd short ball. Maybe a good in swinger like that. Not gonna give him any room though. Not anymore. Oh wow, that's a brave shot with three fielders right there to catch it. Now he doesn't give me the ball. 17 overs gone and I've bowled only two overs. But Australia have lost three wickets, scored only 67. That will have such a nice shot whipped through mid wicket. That actually went a lot faster until it reached the 30 yard circle and then it slowed down completely. How many did they run? They ran three, I think. Oh, they ran four runs. Wow. And Smith. I got him in the first innings with a short ball. He'll remember that. That leg slip is standing right where he was in the first innings. <laughs> wow. That is the best ball I have balled in cricket 22 look at that for a ball full pitches and then straightens just a little bit of outswing and knocks the off stump out look at that for a ball wow pitches full just drifts in then just a little bit of straightening and outswing and look at the off stumps go there can't wheeling 720 almost 980 and still not stopped those stumps almost went to the 30 yard circle and that to Steve Smith. That was the best baller ball. Another one, two of two. And now I'm on a hat trick. Cameron Green first ball. He ends up giving a catch to short leg. Oh man, five for 71 and now a, now the hat trick ball. Alex Carey batted really well. Now what do I do? I come from around the wicket and try to get him LBW. Just bowl straight and try to get the uh, ah too straight. That was not the not even close to the best ball you can bowl on a hat trick delivery. Easily played, but now it's completely and utterly over. They need another 500 runs, 450 runs, and they have five wickets left. Now they have four wickets left. 
they are losing wickets every single over now i have a sh silly mid off he is playing the rampage drive mm, let's see if he keeps doing that now the even the ball is swinging a lot more i've taken 6 in this uh, match can we get a 10 for but these guys are not giving me any overs to bowl at all this is my fourth over i think yeah Oh, that was close. That was very close to the off stump. A brave leave. And he survives. Yes. Two straight flick, but uh, short leg gets smacked. And it'll be only one run. Runs don't really matter now. They still need 500 runs almost. And, oh, they haven't even given me the ball after that. I took only one in the second innings, five in the first and we won this match by 390 runs. If you'd like to see me play from the other side for Australia, I played as Steve Smith and tried to win the Ashes for them. That was an entertaining series. Click the video on screen to check that out. For now, subscribe, it really means a lot. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.